As director of maintenance and operations at the Lone Oak School District, Dwayne Peckett has a pretty important role when the weather is acting up. I make sure that our students and our staff get moved to the safe room safely. But on Monday night when the threats came in, his job took a bit of a shift. <laughs> Actually, the tornado was really close to my house, so my role was to come here to the tornado shelter. <laughs> Before Peckett had to come here for safety, he worked with Lone Oak Fire Chief Justin Wittenberg to make sure the school's safe rooms were ready to go. Once the city of Lone Oak becomes under a tornado warning, we uh, assess the situation and go ahead and set the sirens off. Wittenberg and the police chief are in charge of the siren system for the town, which he says isn't easy. Because you're alarming 4,300 people or 4,500 people, you know. Whether they open the safe rooms before the sirens go off or at the same time is a case-by-case -case basis. If they unlock the door simultaneously, Wittenberg says usually it buys people enough time to drive over. 15 to 20 minutes if we can. Now, weather's unpredictable. It may be less than that, and that's why you need to practice seek, seeking shelter in your own home. The Lono County School District has three different safe rooms on campus that Peckett says are all centrally located for quick access. We have backup generators in case we lose power. Uh, it's, it's climate controlled. Uh, it's just a safe place in the community to go to. While there are several rules like no smoking and no pets, you will never get turned away if you show up to the door. As many people as we can get in here. Uh, if we can save lives, that's what these are designed for. Several other county emergency managers told me that most of those tornado shelters automatically unlock once the tornado sirens go off, but every city and every county is different. In Lowen Oak, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. Mercedes, thank you. With that in mind, let's head back over to Mayflower because last night several people on a community Facebook page said that they went to that a safe room in town and it was locked. The elementary school addressed the issue today, said protocols have been reviewed to make sure that both districts safe rooms are accessible for the community.